Hi everyone, this is Lori here with Lori Hooks. Welcome, thanks for hanging out with me today. So today is the progress video for the um, Hooked on Reese collaboration that I am doing with Rebecca over at Yarn and Pajamas. And if you're new here, what this collaboration is, is that we are making wreaths for the season, for each season for the year 2023. So earlier this year, we made spring wreaths and uh, the first day of spring, sorry, the first day of summer is coming, uh, June 21st. And uh, we are making, now making summer wreaths. So in my last video, I talked about, um, you know, some ideas that I have for my wreath and stuff like that. And today I'm going to show you where I am at with my wreath. And then on June 21st will be the final reveal for our wreaths, um, where we show you our final wreaths, obviously. So, <laughs> um, so if you haven't checked out Rebecca, please run over to Rebecca's channel, check her out. She's a lot of fun. She makes a lot of, uh, fun things, beautiful, fun things. And, um, yeah, so I will include a link for Rebecca's channel below as well as um, a playlist for our Hooked on Reese collaboration. Okay, and so let's get on with what I have accomplished so far for my summer wreath. And I'm going to tell you, it's not a lot. So um, I have... A couple other time sensitive projects that I've been working on and one of the time sensitive projects had to be done this past Saturday and so I worked my butt off and I got it done in time and then um, Saturday night I got started with my wreath so um, first of all we have a wreath this is my wreath that I'm gonna use and on Saturday night I started the outside cover up for you know, I crochet a strip to cover up the wreath with. And so I started my strip. This is what the strip looks like. Um, and on Saturday night, I had one about this long. And um, the pattern that I'm using for this part is the same pattern that I use for my spring wreath. So because the pattern worked perfectly, I just, you know, chain the number that it said and started crocheting and I didn't check it. So then on Sunday afternoon, uh, I was going to start working on it again and um, went and got my wreath and realized that it was not too narrow. And I'm like, how is this possible? How is it possible that it's too narrow and it doesn't fit around my wreath? And then I went and checked and when I made my spring wreath, I used a 12 inch wreath and this time I bought a 14. No idea that I did that, but it's all good. It's all fine. I frogged out what I had done, which was, I, I was about a strip this size and I started this strip again on Sunday. And so that's where I got done with that. And I'm marking um, every 20 rows I mark both sides so that way when I sew it together it makes my life a little easier. So there's what I'm at with so far for the strip around the outside. This is about maybe a quarter of the way done and um, it's a great mindless TV show watching thing to work on. So it's a strip to cover up the wreath so far. So the next thing is, if you watched my last video, um, what am I going to put on my summer wreath? So I couldn't find a summer wreath that spoke to me, that was what I wanted, that reminds me 100% of what I think of when I think of summer. And in our family, we like to go camping. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to do a camping scene on my wreath. So uh, we are... We have a little trailer. It's not one of those vintage little trailers, but those vintage little trailers are way cuter than what I have. So that is what I'm crocheting. And I found a couple patterns that have vintage trailers. And I'll include them in the description box below. Um, 
I'm using the pattern from Repeat Crafter Me, but the colors from Five Monsters, well, similar colors to Five Monsters was where I came up with the colors from because the colors on the Repeat Crafter Me, I thought there was just too many colors because hers is a three color, um, you know, vintage type RV trailer and the other one was only two, so I thought that was better. So this is where I'm at so far on the RV. And I have two of these. And I haven't decided yet if I am going to, because I need to put a door on here and window and, you know, a, a tire and all that kind of stuff. And then um, I have to decide if I'm going to stuff them or if I'm going to put like a little piece of cardboard in there to make that stiff to help it stand up on the wreath. So that's what I have for my vintage trailer so far. The other thing that I think of when I think of summer is the sun. So, oh, and the yarn that I use for the vintage trailer is these two. So this is Sheepy's Color Crafter in the color Barnaveld. And the other one is Stylecraft Special DK. And these are just used floppy skeins from my stash. My color on it is turquoise, and these are DK weight yarns, and I used a, I think I used a three and a half millimeter hook, I think, I hope, I think so. Um, so then the other thing that I think of when I think of summer is I think of the sun. So I need a sun. So in my last video, I showed a sun pattern and it is a really cute sun pattern, but I made the, um, the front and the back pieces and the next step is to sew them together and then make, I want to call them petals, like it's a flower, but it's not the sun rays. Um, and they were, you had to sew, make eight of these little triangle things and then sew them all onto the sun. And I decided that was... Too much sewing. I couldn't think of a way to crochet them onto the sun. I thought I would have to sew them and I didn't feel like doing that. So instead I found a YouTube tutorial where she shows how to do, um, her centerpiece is larger. I used the same size from the first pattern um, and put these sun rays around the outside and I did them in a different color. And so for this I used um, again, it's Sheepy's Color Crafter for the inside, and the color is Leerdam, and that is this part. And for the outside, I use this Impeccable, and I intentionally used a heavier yarn for the outside, hoping that it will be stiffer and stand up better. And the color on this is Sunny Day. And I added some eyes. I will add a mouth. I just did not get around to it yet. Um, to be honest, the black yarn wasn't sitting here and I was too lazy to get up and go get it when I was working on this. So the RV is kind of the similar thing. I need gray to sew around the outside and I need to go get it. And I was too lazy at the time to get out of my chair and go get it. So I started working on something else instead. So probably because I was watching TV and the TV show that I was watching was too interesting at the time to pause it, to run off and do something else. So when I put these on my wreath and I'm going to add some other components too, um, I think I'm going to try to find, I did find a campfire pattern that I'm hoping is going to work. And I found, um, well, I didn't find one yet. Somebody has suggested maybe I add a tree. That's a really good idea. So I'm going to look for a tree type applique type pattern and see if adding that will work. So when I'm putting these on my wreath, I'll give you an idea of how I think I'm gonna put these on. I'm just gonna pin them on. And this one thing that's nice about the wreath, the foam wreath, you can just pin your stuff on there so you can see what it's gonna look like. So I'm just gonna quickly pin these two on here because the, well, this one's not gonna pin because it doesn't have stiffness to it, but I'm gonna put them on so I just have one pin of Mr. Sun, so he's kind of hanging. I'm going to kind of put them on like this. 
and I'm hoping to have a little campfire over here and maybe a tree and yeah and hopefully I like the way it comes out so yeah so that is my wreath components so far and um, I'm liking how it's coming out and what I'm working on and I'll tell you it's really satisfying to work on a project like this that has separate little components that you make because each one when you finish it, it kind of feels like a finished object and so it's kind of a nice thing about it that you you know you have these little finished objects and then you you know the final is going to be with the wreath and that's another finished object so i find it satisfying to work on especially after working on some things that you know, I didn't have a finished object for a bit. And so this is kind of satisfying right now to work on. So, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm thinking it's going to come out the way I like it. And I'm having a lot of fun with this collaboration with Rebecca. So I'm wondering, have you guys ever made a summer wreath? And if you've made a summer wreath and you'd like to, um, like me to share it on you know a picture of it on my channel I'd love to do that you could always send me an email or you could contact Rebecca same with her she'd love to show wreath that you've made in the past um, give other people some ideas of things that they might be interested in and um, yeah so I'm looking forward to seeing Rebecca's progress on her wreath because We've talked, but I haven't seen anything that she's worked on so far. So I'm really interested to see what she's got so far. And yeah, so that is my update video for today. And in two weeks, we'll have the final reveal with the final wreath for what's gone on. So please run over, check out Rebecca. And I think that is it for today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you for liking my videos. And I will see you next time on Lori Hooks. Bye, everyone.